Hi everybody, this is Frank Cox, SmokerBuilder.com, Smoker Builder Manufacturing. I uh, wanted to talk to you today about our baffle plate assemblies. You can go to BBQSmokerMods.com, that's BBQSmokerMods.com, and you can find two different ones there right now and one that's on pre-order. The first one has been out for a while, it's the one for the Brinkman Trailmaster. Uh, we've sold a lot of them, people are very, very happy with them. Uh, this one here in particular is for the Oklahoma Joe Highland. I'm going to show you how to put this together and then I'm going to do another video on how to install it. Um, and then we have our new one getting ready to come out for the Oklahoma Joe Longhorn. That one's on pre-order right now, I believe. Uh, if you've got any questions that you need to ask or whatever, go to uh, barbecuesmokermods.com. That's bbqsmokermods.com and you can get a hold of Justin by email or telephone. Uh, he's the owner of the site. You can also probably find him on my friends list on Facebook. Anyway, uh, this particular plate, how to put this together, when you, when you order it, you're gonna get a kit. The kit's gonna come with our first piece in line that's a transition piece that mounts up against the firebox wall. Then we've got the end piece right here that goes at the other end of the cook chamber. And then you're gonna notice there's a bunch of small parts. There's two of these triangles. They are opposite of each other. There's a left and a right. Um, anyway, you can tell because they, they have the ears going opposite directions of each other. The ears point to the inside of the plate. There's only one way they'll go on and fit right. Um, then you'll have two more pieces, these little straps. These straps, if you notice, there's holes in the end of both of these plates. That's what these straps are for, to join those plates together and keep them up solid, tight together. These are not necessary. You don't have to use these for the plate to work. You can just stick it in there so you can remove it for easy cleaning. But to get it in and out of the door easily, uh, you'll need the, to either take these off or don't put them on. Um, and then you'll have a hardware pack. There'll be eight nuts and bolts in there. They're quarter 20 thread. If you lose one, no biggie. Just run down to Lowe's and, and get you some. They're real cheap. And then you're going to need a couple of tools to put this together. If you're going to use the nuts and bolts, you're going to need these two here. This is a gear wrench. You can use a box open wrench or nut driver, whatever you want. I prefer to use a gear wrench and a ratchet. Uh, it's got a 7 16 socket and a 7 16 wrench. Now, getting into the assembly of this, you'll notice that on the transition piece, it's got this, these two bends in it. This top part mounts up against the, the wall, the, the firebox wall inside the cooker. And you'll notice there's two holes right here, one here and one here. Those holes are so that you, when you set this piece in place, in the Oklahoma Joes, there's no, there's no rail for this to sit on like there is in the Brinkman. So it has a tendency to do like this. If you wanted to, you could slide this in place and then drill a hole right through both of those once you get it level in the cook chamber. And then you could suck this up against the wall. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. Then there's two more holes here and here. Those holes are where you mount the triangles. So when you're looking at this, you may grab the first one's 50-50 chance it either will be right or wrong, and I got the right one, look at me go. And you'll see right there, that this plate, this, this triangle mounts up against that plate and it's flush on the outside. And then your holes will line up like this, right here. So it's real simple to put this, to put this together. You just line that up, slide these bolts in. I prefer to put the bolts in place first. It helps with alignment. And then, just slide this nut on there and finger tighten it. And then while you got it in place there, take your box open wrench, righty tighty lefty loosey. You don't need to go real crazy with it, just snug it up. There you have it. Now we just do the other side. And then now you've got your plate installed, your block off plates installed in place. So now we've got these other two straps left over. Uh, we're going to assemble these inside the cook chamber. 
Okay, this is the Oklahoma Joe Highland. Uh, it's got a shorter cook chamber, smaller diameter than the Longhorn does. Uh, I got this one at Lowe's. That's where you can get them, or I'm sure other people sell them too. But anyway, when you get it, you're going to notice that, you know, some of the hardware comes with it. It's pretty chintzy. Some of the stuff doesn't seal up real well. Justin sells all of the gasket material and silicone and all of the stuff that you need to modify one of these to seal up all those leaks. Uh, the lava lock gasket, uh, we recommend that you use that around the trim here. All the way around, you can either put it on the door or on the trim on the cooker itself. Either way, it doesn't matter, it's still going to seal up. Um, some of the places like the firebox over here, if you bought all your gasket kit and stuff before you before you assemble your grill, you can put that gasket around in between where those two pieces match up. Or he's got high temp silicone, you can silicone that after the fact. Um, there's also toggle clamps. Um, I just bought this one so I haven't had time to do it myself, but there's toggle clamps that when you remove this shelf, you can clamp it down so that, uh, so that it'll suck the door shut on your gasket. Uh, that helps a lot. Same with the firebox door. Anyway, once you get it, uh, you can even get other thermometers while we're getting on that from him. Uh, when, when you get it, you're going to have your cooking grates and you're going to have your charcoal grates in the bottom. Um, a lot of these steps are the same for the Brinkman and it'll be identical for the Longhorn. Um, then you've got your charcoal grate here in the bottom. Just pull it out. And then we can go get our, our transition plate. That's the piece we bolted the triangles onto, the block off plates. Slide that down inside. Slide it all the way up against the edge. And you, you're going to have a little bit of a gap here where the bolts are for the uh, firebox to go together. Uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Just lift it up just a little bit to get over the top of that and seal it up. But that's also why these two bolts are in there so you can drill a hole through the cook chamber on the outside here you can put a bolt on the way in tighten it down with a nut I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of time anyway then you got your two little straps here those are real easy you take the bolt you drop it through take the nut put it on the bottom do the same on the other side then you just put those straight then this piece lays in there right on top now you can use this here to help aim to make sure your bolts line up Slide it in place, drop your bolts in. I don't tighten that down until I get these bolts here started. Now we're going to take and stick our fingers inside here and we're going to rotate this up. Put the nut on from the bottom side. Do the same on the other one, except it fell out. And you just tighten the bolts up. Stick your fingers right back down in there. Slide it in place. Now, if you was going to bolt this in solid, you'd get it all leveled up at this point. 
and then you would go ahead and drill your holes at this time for that. There you have it. And then your cooking grates just go right back in. Now you're ready to roll. You don't have to bolt this stuff together. Matter of fact, on mine I probably won't. I'll just slide them in place. So if you're a welder, you could even weld it in place if that's what you want to do. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, always a little clumsy doing this stuff on camera, but um, anyway, thank you for your patience. Thanks for uh, supporting BarbecueSmokerMods.com and happy barbecue.